This is the little flasher circuit that I am looking to put together. I got it on eBay for less than a dollar. I think you can get a bunch of these probably for two or three dollars. I'm not sure what you would use it for, but it's good practice for me. I'm going to have to do a little research on the resistors and probably the capacitors. So these are the resistors. I looked up the code and the yellow stands for 4, the purple for 7 and the brown is a 10 times multiplier so that's your 470 ohm resistor so those are the ones that are going to go on the side of each one, 470's and then these are your 10k resistors Out okay. From what I understand, the little white on this side of the capacitor is negative, also signified by the shorter lead. So the transistors are supposed to go in to match. flat side. So on this one it's fa the flat side's facing that direction. So I'm gonna put those in that way. having a little trouble keeping the solder point separate in the resistors not the resistors, the transistors I'm not sure this is going to work because I'm not sure if those points are not touching We're going to put in the LEDs and try to power it up and see if it works. If it doesn't, I'm guessing I need to work on those solder points a little more. I was testing the bulbs. So this works really well on a 3 volt battery. I blew this bulb because I put it on a 9 volt battery. So this is no longer any good. I will have to find another bulb at some point. I'm going to put this one in and see if I can get it to work. Alright, this is for your connection cables, so I can unscrew this. Slide in a wire. Hold the wire. Here's my moment of truth. I got the negative side on this wire. And I'm going to touch the positive side of this wire. And there it is. It's blinking. Not really blinking.
blinking. Man, it's probably because I don't have the light, the bulb in the other side, which I blew that bulb, so I've got to find a new one. But it's working. Alright. So at least I know that's working. Maybe I need to work on that transistor connection these a little better and see if I can get it to blink. Okay, I went ahead and put the other LED in the circuit thinking that might help. And when I put the battery on, now the working LED is blinking. So apparently the fact that the circuit wasn't complete was causing the problem with the blinking aspect of it. So now it's working, I just need a new LED to replace the one I burned out. 